Hey guys, it's Tyler checking in. Today I want to talk to you about the most important thing when it comes to hydroponics, nutrient management. When it comes to managing the hydroponic growing environment, there's three things that I'm mainly concerned with. The electrical conductivity or EC, pH, and temperature. Electrical conductivity mainly equates to the total amount of nutrients that are in your solution. The minerals and the inorganic nutrients that you guys put into your systems actually conduct electricity. Thus, the higher the minerals, the higher the EC. The catch here is that if you use the wrong nutrients, you'll still get a high EC reading, but your plants won't grow properly. So make sure you use a fertilizer with the correct amount of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, depending on what stage your plant is in. In my experience, it really doesn't take a lot of EC to grow most plants. In fact, I've grown everything from greens, herbs, peppers, kale, bok choy, and many more at an EC as low as 0.8 microsiemens per centimeter. The two most nutrient demanding crops in hydroponic systems are tomatoes and eggplant. For both of these plants, I shoot for an EC of two microsiemens per centimeter. Then I make adjustments based on deficiencies and whether or not the plant is in a vegetative, a flowering, or a ripening stage. pH affects a plant's ability to absorb nutrients. In general, plants prefer a pH that's slightly acidic. Most nutrients that plants need to grow are available between pHs of 5.8 and 6.5. Although temperature isn't a nutrient, it can be just as important as EC and pH when it comes to plant growth and development. Every plant prefers a certain temperature range and they can be especially sensitive during seedling phases and fruit development. So if you're a hydroponic grower and you manage your electrical conductivity, your pH, and your temperature adequately, I know you'll be successful. Good luck!